Good morning Mike, it's Friday. There's been big news this week in my hometown Northampton. We've got a new bus station, you can probably see it behind me. And uh, it's given people a lot to moan about on the internet. The first day it opened, uh, the whole of the town centre was gridlocked apparently. You couldn't move for buses, people have been very cross, people have said a lot of nasty things and there's some general bad feeling about it around. I decided I was gonna talk about some aspects of this uproar that's been going on this morning. And I had a look on Facebook on the Spotted Northampton page. And I've got to say, I was quite upset by what I read. It's just page after page after page of negativity. The bus station thing is just the tip of the iceberg. People cannot stop moaning about Northampton. And it upsets me, Mike, and I'll tell you why. I actually quite like Northampton. It's my hometown, I've lived here all my life, and I think there's a lot of good things about it. The thing I really don't understand though is how people who are from Northampton can quite happily complain about Northampton and say, Northampton is awful, Northampton is rubbish, Northampton is crap, Northampton is a few other choice words that I won't use because I don't think they're very nice. Northampton as a place is a community and a community is made up of people. If you belong to this community, you are Northampton. Mike, I am Northampton. It sounds a bit ridiculous when I put it like that, but it does kind of work like that. I cannot say that Northampton is awful because if I say Northampton is awful, I am saying that I am awful. I know some people would say they've just lived in Northampton for a short while, they don't particularly feel like they're part of the community, but let's face it, if you just buy your shopping from Tesco here, you are contributing in a way to the community of Northampton. So nobody gets out of this one. We're all in this together, but not in a David Cameron sense, in a real sense where we actually are all kind of here together because that's just how it's worked out. There are two massive extremes of thinking that we encounter at times. The one where we're all individuals and everything is up to us individually and we can opt in and out of whatever we want to. And there's another way of thinking that says, as human beings, we are part of a living, breathing organism. What happens to one of us happens to all of us. If one of us suffers, we all suffer. And I can't say precisely where I stand on that, Mike. I think I probably lean towards the latter. But I do know this, there's more to a town than buses, and shopping centres. The real life is outside of those places. The real life is in our homes, amongst our friends and our families. And I would like to see more people focusing on those things and less on the political nonsense that's been going on this week. Mike, I'll see you on Tuesday.